Soul, Source 2 is coming out this summer and it looks incredible. My name is Danny and I will show you everything that's gonna happen. I'm a little tough face it, I'm really excited for this. I've been playing this game for more than seven years and I would like to show what's gonna happen to the game and what's gonna be introduced. This is the official website of Counter-Strike 2. Beautiful looking models, looks very exciting, orange colors, very like stylish, very new to Counter-Strike. It's gonna be released this summer. Okay, so the first thing uh, which we're gonna see are responsive smokes. They're gonna be more dynamic and realistic. So they're gonna be bending over the objects. For example, if you throw a smoke uh, mirage window, you will be able, uh, the, the smoke is gonna expand into the entire window. So it's not gonna be plain. It's gonna be more, it's gonna have more volume. It's gonna bend over objects and uh, you will be able to shoot through and the bullets that you're gonna shoot they're gonna make little holes in the smoke which you will be able to see through for example uh, right and right here Fuck. there was a clip on overpass so. yeah right here and look Carve can be the shape of the smoke. So there's a guy upstairs, he's shooting through it. The smoke like kind of disappears. Look, the guy shoots through the smoke, a little hole appears, and you can see through it. I got through the nade, the entire smoke's fucking fades away. And you're able to see the player on the other side. Same right here. Smoke grenades provide somebody spams their bullet holes. You can see the back. They're just going to look and play. It is just incredible. I'm so excited for this. However, it's gonna mess up the timings. For example, if you cancel a smoke with your grenade and you're in the middle of it, you are screwed. Yes, as you can see, expands to fill spaces naturally and it reacts to lighting. Well, for me, it's not a big like deal since we're, well, the, the pros are gonna be playing on low settings, but for people that are gonna be playing casually, it might look sick. So, okay, uh, they're introducing sub-ticking, so they're gonna remove 64 tick, 128 tick, instead they're making zero tick, they're moving to a completely new system, which is, which I'm really excited to see because I have never heard about this before, and I'm looking forward to trying it, so we're gonna see, then they change the maps, the graphics look astonishing, um, they just made the lighting better, so they have a source of light and it just comes down and it's more volumetric, it's it's fresh, it's it's much more vibrant, it's reflective, it's new. What you see in new games, that's gonna ha it's gonna look something like this. Not Valorant doesn't even look as pretty as this stuff. The primary example which I'm gonna bring up is A Site Nuke. And so this is CSGO 1. CSGO. CSGO 1. This is CS2. It looks gorgeous. Look at the lighting, look at the reflections, just look at the texture quality. As you can see, there are little scratches there. The metallic parts have little bubbling, like they're more, they have more volume to them. It looks incredible. Uh, wait, so they have Overpass, Nuke, and Dust 2. Where's Mirage? Nevertheless, long doors, okay, long. This is old. This is new, much more vibrant, much more colorful, better textures, looks just prettier. I wonder how what it's gonna do to the FPS because obviously I don't think it's gonna stay the same. I think it's gonna be a bit lower, but nah, I hope the developers are gonna do a good job on optimization of the of the game. Then this is for. Uh, map makers and people who are just into skins into like making maps We're, i'm not gonna cover that but what you're gonna be very excited about is that skins are gonna be in cs2 as you can see the all the models all the skins all the stickers they're gonna be translated to cs2 i don't see much difference but what what i noticed is that yeah right here the knives they're reflective 
So if you look at the sun, they're gonna be like much more reflective whilst in CS it's just, it looks nice, but here it's gonna look better. It's gonna be shinier, brighter. Uh, there's gonna be way more detail and that, uh, that is awesome. I, I'm really looking forward to inspecting my autotronic knives which are gonna be very shiny under the sun and they're gonna... The next thing is high def VFX. Um, basically they're changing the UI first of all, which so as you can see here, uh, it's gonna be on the bottom. Uh, it's gonna just be more updated, more new. Then th whenever you get a new rank, it's, it's just gonna glow up and I'm wondering what other things it's gonna bring to CS, what, what other changes it's gonna have. The environmental effects, uh, here, like, the bomb explodes, it looks cool, but then the mollies. The thing about mollies that I noticed when the guy throws it, basically, you cannot see through the molly right now on certain graphic settings. And here, you can see that it burns and doesn't produce any smoke, so that's really good. I think it's, it's a good balance change. Gameplay visuals. Okay, it just looks more realistic, a bit, a bit more detail. Oh, wow, like, the blood... Yeah. Okay, okay. They're changing the audio. I don't know how, how well they're gonna change it. I'm very excited to hear how they change it and I hope that they're gonna release a beta for this stuff. But um, this looks really cool. Um, I'm very excited how the new guns are gonna hear, how the gu new guns are gonna sound, how the enemies are gonna be rushing, how it's gonna sound like I'm just so curious whether you're gonna be hearing how the guy jumps on something when you, when he's close to you. So many unanswered questions which I'm looking forward to. That is it. But I would like to note, to point out that it is, that this game isn't even in beta. It is just straight out of publishers, they're releasing it and it's pretty raw right now. I think Till, like, till the summer, and the next couple of months after that, after the release, they're gonna be working on the game very intensively, and they're gonna be patching bugs, um, different glitches, and so on, and then it's, then, only then, maybe like a year after the release, it's gonna be at its peak. Right now, sure, it's gonna be great, but after, when they're gonna maybe change some, make some balance changes, make some map changes, it's gonna be an FPS bomb. This this game is gonna cancel every game that is in the FPS genre. R6, Overwatch, fucking Valorant, goodbye. <laughs> You're not surviving this. This looks better than Valorant and Overwatch. 100%. It is just cooler. It's better. I'm so excited to look, to play this game. So yeah, I hope you're waiting for Source 2. Goodbye. Name's Danny.